So we're going to turn to our Bibles. We'll go to the book of John. We'll read John chapter 4 from verse 3 to verse 5. Hallelujah. John chapter 4 from verse 3 to 5. Are we ready? Can we read together like a mass choir? Want to go? He left Judea and departed again into Galilee. And verse 4. And he must need go through Samaria. Can we read that together? No, no, come back, come back, come back. We need to emphasize. One more time. And he must need go through Samaria. Hallelujah. And now verse 5. He said, then come he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar. Near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son. Hallelujah. Our emphasis is, is, is in verse 4. Hallelujah. Can you go back to verse 4? Because that's where our message is coming from. One more time again. And he must need go through Samaria. Hallelujah. I want to share God's word with us on this first day of the month of August. That is titled, I am in a transit. Somebody say, I am in a transit. Say, I am in a transit. Say, I am in a transit. I am in a transit. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Don't look at me like this. Don't look at me like this. Say, because I am in a transit. Because I am. Say, I have not arrived my destiny yet. There is a place I am going to. So when I get to my destination, you may not recognize me again. Even though I may be short now, my heels will be higher. Even though I may be smaller now, my car will be bigger. Even though I may not be able to run, my perfect jet will carry me. Is somebody hearing me? Amen. If you believe it, shout and louder, amen. amen. Listen, child of God, sit down with some audacity. I have come with anger in my bones. There is something called the anointing. When the anointing comes, you know, anointing sounds like annoying. When you are anointed, you get annoyed when you see things that are wrong. I am angry at what you are passing through. And God said, I should come and I should speak a word in your life. Whatever is not of God in your life, it expires today by fire. That which God has not planted in your life, it expires by fire. I came by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every transit that is not of God, today it expires. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shaka Palata. Today, something we have. Somebody say today, not today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is a layover. It's not your final destination. It's a transit. Praise the Lord. What is a transit? The act of passing across or through a place. What is transit? The act of passing across or passing through a place. Hallelujah. Passage from one place to another is called what? A transit. And usually, you know, when you are on a journey, there are stops. There are stops, layovers, stops. They call them transit. Hallelujah. You are passing through a place that is not your destination and you wait there. How many people are flying through Africa and you get to Ethiopia and stop? If you use Air France, you stop in France. I better stop in France, not Ethiopia. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you are traveling, depending on the vehicle carrying you, there are places you stop. It is called transit. It's not your final destination. Is somebody hearing me? There are many of us, I'm looking at you right now, there are people looking at you anyhow because you are in a transit. There are people looking at you, they look down on you. Why? Because you are in a transit. Many of us, we are here in a strange land. You are in a transit to the destiny God is carrying you to. Is somebody hearing me? This is a transit. Somebody say, I am in a transit. A layover is a short stay in a place. On the way of your destination. Hallelujah. You have a layover, you had a transit, you had a stop somewhere. That stop is not your final destination. People may make it look like it's your destination. It is not your destination. Say, I am in a transit. Is somebody hearing me? In your journey of life, you are in a transit. You have not gotten to that destination yet. There is a place when you reach there. People looking at you now, they will not recognize you. I have come to push you to your destination. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The scripture we read in John chapter 4. The Bible said, if you start from verse 3. The Bible said Jesus was going somewhere. He must need pass in verse 4. And he said what? He departed from where? To Galilee. Verse 3. Kolabashanda. He departed again into where? He left Judea and departed again into. He was going to Galilee. And he passed away. He must need go through Samaria. 
There is a necessary transit, child of God. The Bible said, He is our Savior. Jesus is fully God and fully man. Hallelujah. He came to this world and he must need pass through certain things. He must need come through the womb of a woman. He must need pass through Samaria. Child of God, you, you may be passing through a necessary transit. And what you do in the midst of this transit determines how you end up. Is somebody hearing me? There are many that God stuck at their transit, but I've come to push you. You cannot remain in that transit. Your transit cannot swallow you. You will enter your destination. You will enter your destiny in the name of Jesus. That place God has spoken over your life, you will enter in the name of Jesus. In verse 7 of that scripture, the Bible says Jesus asked a woman for water. When you're in a transit, you may have a need. Is somebody hearing me? People are looking at you now. You don't have a house. They didn't know you left the house in Africa. They don't know if you carry your father's company and bring here. They, because the land is massive first. Yeah, people buy joint, 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 joint houses. They own a house. Here in Africa, we own houses. If you carry your mansion in Africa and bring here, the people are looking, you, are looking at you and you will give them voice quarter to stay, big you to stay. Is somebody hearing me at all? When you're in a transit, there will always be a need. Child of God, don't kill yourself. There is a need in the transit. That is not your home. Even if you carry something, it will get finished. There will be a day you need something. If you are there now, where there is a lack, there is a need. Do not cry, child of God. I came because of you. I have come to tell you, number one, you are in a transit. That is not the end of your journey. And I see you making it to the end. The transit will not swallow you. You will make it to the end. In the name of Jesus. No matter what the devil is doing. I've come to announce to you. There is a power that resides inside of you. It will carry you to the end. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I am in a transit. In Luke chapter 19 verse 1. The Bible says Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Why is he always passing? There is a going through that you must go through. Your life will not remain like this. Are you hearing me at all? And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Hallelujah. I remember when God's people got to Jericho. Jericho was a place where mercy showed up for a woman. A woman that was called a, a harlot. Rahab was a harlot. But anytime divinity steps through Jericho, there is a destiny about to turn around. The woman that was rejected, she was by the wall. Living by the wall, it means you have been pushed to the end of your life. There is no more options. And when the master showed up, this same woman became Okata Bayata. I want to make a decree over your life. That unction that changed your life is in this house. I see your destiny changing for good. I see God making you dance in the name of Jesus. There are many, many times you ask yourself, am I a child of God? By reason of the persecution you go through. Listen, Jesus was in that place. Others have been there. Rahab lived by the wall. If people push, 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 you get to a place where you can't do nothing anymore. That is why people begin to cry. But listen, child of God, it's not time to cry. It's a time for awareness. When you know there is a balance that they say, they say hunger. They say the hungry way get hope, not the kill. When you know there is food on the fire, even though your stomach is rumbling and grumbling, you may not even want to eat something to block that space. Is somebody hearing me? There is hope for your future. I have come to announce. I see you moving into that destination. You will get there in the name of Jesus. I say you will get there in the name of Jesus. I say you will get there in the name of Jesus. I say you will get there in the name of Jesus. The next time I saw Jesus coming to Jericho, oh, Kalamashanda, there was a man called Bartimaeus in Mark chapter 10. If you begin to read from verse 46, when, when the Messiah stepped into that, he doesn't enter without touching a life. In John chapter 4, that woman was a focal point. Because that woman was a daughter of Zion. There are many of you now, when God blesses you, you will serve God better. That is what the enemy knows. That's why he's holding you in one spot. But I've come to lose you. I said, I've come to lose you. God gave me an assignment this morning. He said, there are some people in an unnecessary transit. That transit that is not of God. You are coming out by fire. I said, you are coming out by fire. 
I say you are coming up by fire. I say you are coming up by fire. I say you are coming up by fire. I say you are coming up by fire. In the name of Jesus. There is a passing through. Everybody goes through. In First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. The Bible said, Oh, Shalabahanda. The apostle was speaking to us. He said, Even our fathers were under the cloud. He said, But they passed through. You remember in Exodus chapter 14, when they were going across the Red Sea, they were going through the Red Sea. The Bible said, There was a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire. So, Apostle Paul is telling, He said, Even in the presence of that pillar, they still have a passing through. Are you hearing me? That doesn't determine whether you have God or you don't have God. Is somebody hearing me? Everyone must need pass through. Is somebody hearing me? You are passing through your own. Somebody's own may be next. The reason you are passing through now, there is a glory. And the number of stops permitted by God, the number of chances permitted by God, is determined by the magnitude of your destiny. Maybe there is a transit of marriage. You entered and you came out. And you felt that like you are the worst individual. It's a lie. You are in a transit. I have come to pull you by the mandate of Yahweh. I see you going to your destination. I see you entering your rest. I see you entering your rest. In the name of Jesus. In Psalm 78 verse 13. The Bible says he divided the sea. O Kalamahanda. And he caused them to pass through on the dry ground. <laughs> he divided the sea and caused them to pass through. And he made the water stand up as a heap. Are you hearing me child of God? Listen. There are transit that stopped you before. But from today, I want to make a proclamation. Every transit that is not permitted by God. The time of that waiting was over. God said 400 years and the enemy added 30 years. And he said, I will do something they have never seen. It caused water to stand like a wall. I see problems standing for you to pass. I see pillars standing for you to pass. In the name of Jesus, as I hear your amen, you are going through. As I hear your amen, transits are expiring. Every unnecessary transit in your life is coming to an end. In the name of Jesus. Listen, child of God, when you are in that place, do not play. Don't cry. Remember, just put this in your mind. There is a future. There is a place, that place God has said. Some people have echoed their destiny. And yet, because of their condition, they are shy to say it again. You have said it before. People heard. You say, I know where I'm going to. I'm going to be this. And they say, you, you like this. You, you. And you zip your mouth. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Who doesn't want to hear? Let them block their ears. Keep saying it. The Bible says, and God said. And God said. And God said. And God saw. You must say, say until you see. I see somebody at Yabashanda. There are some destinies that are opening here. There are some families that were caged. I see God breaking that cage. I see all oh, Tabakanda Yata. The God of my father, it will enter your case. It will give you a testimony in this season. Your testimony is beginning now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was missing, Alamahanda. I see God entering that case. In the name of Jesus. Shaka Palata. Oh, take it away. In Genesis 7 17, the Bible said something about the flood. It lasted 40 days and 40 nights. The flood. Hallelujah. Everything died, yet the flood continued. It rained 40 days and 40 days. And the flood was 40 days upon the earth. And the water increased and bare up the earth. And it was lifted up above the earth. Hallelujah. In, in verse 24 of that same scripture, the Bible said the water lasted 150 days. There are things that you look, this is too long. This thing has been too long. There are some transits that are longer than you expected. But God is about to end it today. I said, God is about to end it today. But every transit that God determined for you, God predestined for you, God will empower you to complete it. In the name of Jesus. There are things you need to know about a transit. In order to come out gloriously, you need to know some things about a transit. Number one, you need to know that everyone on a destiny journey must experience it. Hallelujah. Can we repeat that together? Everyone on a destiny journey must experience transit. 
If you are going nowhere, you can't get transit anywhere. Eh? Am I speaking here? People who are not passing through because they are not going anywhere. Somebody was asking me, say, Pastor, I know some girls, they are this, they are that, and yet they are having good time. And they, somebody even proposed to, he, to her. And how come me, I've kept myself? They are not going anywhere. You carry destiny. You carry destiny. Somebody hearing me? There is a destination. That is why there is a transit. Oh, my father. We read in John chapter 4, 3 to 4. If you go to Genesis 37, starting from verse 5, Joseph had a destination. Is somebody getting me at all? Joseph had what? A destination. A precise destination. The throne. He saw the brothers bowing before. He said, Joseph dream, and he told it his brethren. And they hated him yet. Let them hate. They don't have anywhere they are going to. Their destiny is servants, is service. But Joseph, he was destined for the top. He was destined for the top. And that is why he went through all the hurdles. Somebody hearing me at all. You, you, may have, you might have gotten maybe a couple of transits. Transit in marriage. Transit in family. Transit in business. Transit in job. It is not the end of the world. There is a great destination ahead of you. That is why you are passing through all those things. Somebody hearing me? And I want to make a prophetic decree. I see God carrying you on his wings. And he will fly you into your destiny. After this service, every unwanted transit, it expires in the name of Jesus. And God will empower you. That you will complete your necessary transit in the name of Jesus. Oh, la kabahanda. We can count a few transits in the life of Joseph. In, in Genesis 37, 24 and 25, he, he had a transit in the pit. That was his first transit. Have you been in a pit before? Have you been in a pit before? Are you seeing somebody that became second in command? If your dream is that big, then get ready. Then there are some transits that are necessary. The Bible says Jesus must need go through. Is somebody hearing me? There was no way that the name of Jesus would save man if he didn't pass through the cross. He must need go through. Somebody hear me? God wants to elevate you to be a pillar in the church, to be a pillar in your family, to be a pillar in your community, to be a pillar to this nation. That is why he wants you to see hunger. He wants you to see hardship. He wants you to see rejection. So you can understand when somebody brings that up to you tomorrow. There are people, no matter what you say, they say, I don't understand. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? There are wicked people you need to know. God is, it, the transits are there so you can pass through and have understanding. Is somebody hearing me at all? The transits are there so you can pass through and understand how life is. Oh, T. Kayada Handa. The first transit is where? In the pit. Genesis 37, 24 and 25. He said, and they took him and cast him into a pit. And the pit was empty. Number one. Not just that. It was dry. There was no water in it. He said, and they sat down to eat bread. You are passing through. People look, they seem blessed. But yet, they refuse to help. They seem, they are in a place where they can say one word and things change for you. You are the place of work. Even the good things you do, people don't say it. It is the one error you did. Don't worry. You are in a transit. Tomorrow, God is making you a boss. So you can understand. When people do things, you know how to appreciate them. I have come to lift up men in this place. Everyone that connects and agrees with me, I see God lifting you. In the name of Jesus. I see God lifting you. In the name of Jesus. The second transit in Genesis 39. You start reading from verse 1. It's in Potiphar's house. A man destined for the top became boy boy. House help. It, that's, boy boy is even better. They pay them. He's a slave. At one point. Is that how you feel right now? Maybe at your place of work in your family. You feel like you have been reduced to a non-entity. But I've come to tell you. You are in a transit. Tap your head. Say I am in a transit. Tap your chest. Say I am in a transit. No matter what I go through now. My destiny is intact. 
my future is intact. I professor, as you have said it, he said in number 1420, he said, as surely as you have said in my ears, he said, that will I do. I see God lifting you in the name of Jesus. Oh, la gabahanda. He said transit, Genesis 39, 20 to 23, transit in the prison. Are you seeing one man's transit? Pit, dry pit, empty pit. From there to slave. That's somebody's transit. Somebody was going to the top. Is that transit is what? In the prison. Somebody hearing me at all? I, I believe that Joseph would have hated everything that looked like P. Yes, because the first P was Pete, right? The second P was what? Potiphar's house. All of them, he got bad treatment from there. And the third P was what? Prison. But he did not know that all these P's were connecting him to another P. Another P that will change his life. And that P is Pharaoh. When Pharaoh showed up, the Bible says, Eka God gave him a dream and gave the answer to somebody in the prison. You are not getting it. <laughs> that your boss in the office. The re- God is about to put them in a terrifying mode. And he will give you the answer. So that that day they come with a bad mood. They are looking horrible. They are crying. You will be the one to tell them. God is alive. And listen. Those kind of days. God can answer prayer in a second. Bim. You just hold your hand. You are not, you say, I'm not a pastor. I'm just a member in my church. And maybe I'm a, a, a whatever department you are. He said but I believe our pastor has taught us that we can pray. He said when we pray there will be an answer. Hallelujah. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Give me your hand. Let's pray. And you begin to pray. Say, the God of my father, the God that I serve with all my conscience, may you wipe your tears. And before you know, story change. I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen. So don't zip your mouth. That your boss that is oppressing you, there is a day that they will be afraid of you. Is somebody hearing me at all? I see God lifting you. In the name of Jesus. When the bigger P showed up, Joseph knew that I don't have to hate peace. He said, these peace were telling me that there is a destiny connected to P. Is somebody hearing me? Because after he met Pharaoh P, he met that there was another P that Pharaoh carried him to, and that is the palace. I see you going to the palace. Your destination is the palace. You can't end in the boys' quarter. In the name of Jesus. Oh, la kabahanda. My kateka tu payata. Thank you, my father. The second thing to know about a transit. It is a time to rely on the mercy and favor of God. Hallelujah. When you find yourself, when you have an understanding after this message, you are in a transit. It is a time to rely on the mercy and favor of God. Hallelujah. Rely on what? The mercy and the favor of God. Let me tell you, when you find yourself in a place where you cannot help yourself, you need two things. Mercy and favor. There was one thing that guaranteed the journey of Joseph. That guaranteed, even when he went to the pit, pit could not kill him. Dryness and hunger could not kill him. He went to Potiphar's house as a slave. He could not die. They sent him to prison. He could not die. Mercy and favor. In Genesis 39, verse 21, the Bible says, And the Lord was with Joseph. And he showed him mercy and he gave him. When you depend and rely on mercy and favor in a transit, child of God, you will be amazing people every day. When they thought that by now you should have been there, let's go and check. They see you bouncing and waxing stronger. Is somebody hearing me? When they are looking, there are some of you people have gone to Facebook. They are searching. They are looking for your picture. After now, as you are shining like this, post one picture. Let them know that there is a God in heaven that is watching over your affairs. You will not die as they thought. You are not dry. You are not cranky. You are looking bubushous. You are looking pretty. You are looking wonderful. Because you have a living God. When mercy and favor speak for you, the enemy is in trouble. Oh, la behind that. I said, take one picture. Don't wipe your makeup. Don't wipe foundation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Make sure you take a picture before your foundation wipe. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The way you are shining now like this, that's a, that's a picture I want you to send on Facebook. So that when they see those who are expecting you down, they will depress instantly. Depression will come. 
Because they have been looking, hey, where is he now? Where is he now? Where is he hiding? Uh, because he's looking bad, because he's looking ugly and ashamed and embarrassed. When you pose, do a good posture. You know, there is a posture that when you, when you do that one, ah, <laughs> testimony uploading, somebody will fly. <laughs> They will deactivate their account and they upload it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are in a transit, child of God. And when you rely on the favor, the mercy and the favor of God, in Psalm 102 verse 13, he said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For ye the set time to favor her is now. I want to speak favor into somebody's life. In Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, Esther was in a strange land. The Bible said when the time of Esther, when her time came, she required nothing else. He said, but there was favor. There was favor. She was selected among their powers. I don't know the selection that you need to pass through. I see God favoring you. You will come out the best. You will come out the best. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say favor. I receive. Say favor. I receive. In my life. In my family. In my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Lagabahanda. Favor, mercy and favor will speak for you. In Psalm 13, verse 5, David said, I have trusted in thy name. Hallelujah. He says, So my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Praise the Lord. Oh, Tika Bayata. I have trusted in what? Thy mercy. He said, My heart shall do what? Rejoice. The mercy and favor of God speaks better things for us. Hallelujah. It will speak for you in the name of Jesus. As it will speak for you in the name of Jesus. In Romans chapter 9 verse 15. Towards the end. Hallelujah. He said, I will show mercy upon whom I am a hand. I will have mercy upon whom. I will have mercy on whom. God will show you mercy on every side. When the mercy of God is speaking. Listen. You need mercy. There are some things I want us to understand. Our families. You don't know about what your fathers did. You don't know about what your forefathers did. There are some of them who deliberately pledge the family into a bondage. And that is why we need mercy. Because it is, if it is by the words of your parents, by the commitment of your parents, you are being sold into slavery. But God is saying, I we have mercy on whom? I we have mercy. The mercy of God shall speak for you. It will speak for your generation. It will speak for your family. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Yakapala Rabahanda. The mercy and favor of God. It shall speak for you. It shall speak for you. I say it will speak for you. In Psalm 118 and verse 2. The Bible says, let Israel now say his mercy endured forever. Hallelujah. Let Israel now say his mercy endured forever. My best scripture for mercy. <laughs> that one is war. <laughs> Hallelujah. The mercy of God shall speak for you. It will speak for your family. In Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Amen. Call out the hand. The place where they have rejected you, God will cause acceptance. In the name of Jesus. Rely on his mercy. And God will show himself in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Number three. We said things to know about transit. Number one. Can we say it together? Everyone on a destiny journey must experience a transit. Number two, God's mercy and favor. Hallelujah. Number three, God is with you. The third thing you need to know about a transit is that God is with you. <laughs> Somebody say, God is with me. Say, God is with me. Say, God is with me. Say, God is in me. God is with me. Hallelujah. When you have confidence that God is with you, transit cannot swallow you. When you have the confidence that you carry his presence, ah, even fear is far away from you. In Psalms 23, can you give us one verse 4? Shanda. If, if you begin from verse 1, the Lord is like, okay. Yedo, I walk. Can you see that? Yedo, I walk through the valley of the shadow of the I will fear no evil. For thou... The assurance of God's presence takes away fear. People have made you feel like, oh, the next minute they will deport you. The next minute you will fall into trouble. You will go into the... Lila, say, God is with me. Hallelujah. God is with me. Is somebody hearing me? 
God is with me. Hallelujah. When God be for you, who can be against you? In Isaiah 43 and verse 2, it says, When thou passest through the fire, when thou passest through the water, definitely there will be a pass through. There will be a passing through. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And, the, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, a hey, kapalata. You know, you, you can't walk in the fire because you know. Ayanana makanda. When the Hebrew boys uh, in Daniel chapter 3, uh, where they were in the fire, the Bible says something. He said, I see three men walking. He <laughs> said, I see four men walking. Sorry. I see four men walking. They tied them and they threw them in there. I don't care where life has dumped you. I have come to tell you that pit is the transit. Begin to walk. Don't stay down. They want you to be, to be depressed. That is why they call you and check. If you are better than me, why are you not doing better than what I thought? If you are better than me, when I was in your life, we bought a house. When I was in your life, we were living that. So where are you now? Say, you don't need to know. I am doing well. I am bouncing in God's presence. Because that is what I need for my life. The Bible says, there is a shandaga. He said, I see four men walking. <laughs> they were in the fire, but they were walking. And that's what he repeats here. When thou walk through the fire, even when you see fire, don't stand up. Walk, child of God. They cannot stop you. I say you are unstoppable. They cannot guarantee your happiness. Our joy is in God. Our happiness is in him. Our fulfillment is in him. Apostle Paul said, in him I live. In him I move. In him I have my being. If you can't stop Jesus, you cannot stop me. As you have him in your life, destiny is assured. Hallelujah. When you're in a transit, you need to know God is with you. In Acts chapter 27 and verse 24, the Bible said, God spoke to Paul. He said, fear thou not. In the midst of waves, the ship was, he said, saying, fear not. Are you seeing that? That must be brought before Caesar. Are you seeing a necessary going through? He's, they arrested him. They wanted to kill him. And people's message came, they smoking him. People fasted 40 days to keep Paul. Hallelujah. In chapter 23. Start reading from verse 13. People fasted. They bound themselves. Men bound themselves and fasted. He said, and there were more than 40 which had made this conspiracy. Continue. Verse 14. He said, and they came to the chief priest. If you, I think you start from verse 12. They said they will neither eat nor drink until they have keep all. In verse 12. It's in verse, it should be in verse 12. They said, he said, when it was there, certain of the Jews banded together. And brought themselves under a cause, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had keep up. There are people fasting you know, to bring you down. They are fasting, they are going hungry, they are doing sacrifice. Some kill animals, they kill cow. They kill cow. But there's something bigger than cow. There is a blood, you know, all along they were killing animals, killing, slaughtering animals. Those animals could not save man. And there is a blood that is not just human blood. It is humanity and divinity. That blood was shed for you and I. There is a sacrifice bigger than whatever has been done. And that sacrifice is speaking for you. Anywhere they enter, I see Jesus showing up for you. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere they enter, God will show up for you. Anywhere they enter, God will show up for you. In the name of Jesus. There are some of you, people are gathering in places and calling your name. <laughs> I want to speak a word. There is something when it comes upon any one of us. It is called the anointing. When it comes, it can slaughter. When it comes, it can kill. The Bible made mention of Jephthah. He said, and the spirit of God came upon Jephthah. And he moved into the camp of the enemy by himself. One man slaughtered the whole camp. I have come by the power of the Holy Ghost under the grace of my father. Anyone that has made themselves obstacle to your life, they expire. I said, they expire. I said, they expire. I said they expire. I said they expire. I said they expire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Kalala Bakanda. Sit down. Oh, Likadaya. In Joshua chapter 1 and verse 5, God spoke to Joshua. He said, No man will be able to stand before you. 
He said, from this day, no man. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. From this day, moving forward, he said, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee. <laughs> are you seeing that? Whoever they are, they are not qualified to be an obstacle to your life. If only you can agree with me not to zip up your mouth, but speak out. When they come, say, I know who I am. Say, you, are, you can't stop me. I am unstoppable. You knew me before. You don't know me now. The Bible said, Apostle Paul spoke a word. He said, in you, Christ, I don't want to know nobody in the flesh again. There are people who saw you, your beginning, and they thought that's where you will end. But God said you are bigger than that. There is a destination you are about to enter, and nothing can stop you. I came by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every obstacle your way, give way now by fire. Human obstacles expire by fire. Every deity set before you, I set them on fire. In the name of Jesus. There is a song that we sing a long time ago. I don't know why we don't sing them again. Satan, come up for my road. I carry Holy Ghost. I know get break to. If I jam you, you go down. Satan, come up for my road. I carry Holy Ghost. I know get break to. If I jam you, you oh Satan, come up for my road. I carry Holy Ghost. I know prayer breaks. So if I jam you, you go. Down. You're about to put those the enemies that stood the gap. They have been blocking you from assessing your destiny. But there is a power in this house. This is not main noise. There is an anointing that is present to carry you. In the name of Jesus, I make a decree over your life. You are unstoppable. I say 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 you are unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. In Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9. God is laying emphasis. He said, have I not commanded you? <laughs> God is saying again. He said, I've spoken to you before. I'm saying again today. He said, have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with me. Is with me. Is with me. Is with me. Open your mouth and say, is with the Lord my God is sweet. The Lord my God is sweet. So I fear no devil. Hallelujah. If they were able to kill you, they would have killed you before. But because the, the seed of God cannot be killed. The only thing they can succeed to do is to make you fall in error. And you fell in error and you thought it was over. But if God can restore you, he can still take you to that destiny. Is somebody hearing me? You felt you were feeling guilty. Even to be in the house of God, you felt ashamed. How will I come there? By reason of what I did. That is why he died. That is why he died. I speak to your life. Nothing can stop you anymore. In the name of Jesus. I speak into your family. Nothing can stop you anymore. In the name of Jesus. Why? God is with me. Number four, before we enter into prayer. It is time to be set apart. When you are in a transit, it is time to be set apart. Mita, can you give us 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17? When you find yourself in a transit, it is time to be set apart. Can we read together? Make sure your head is up so you can read with us. Want to go? Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, say ye the Lord, and touch not the thing I am ashamed of. Is somebody hearing me? Am I speaking to somebody? Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, say ye the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Are we getting something this morning? Separate yourself from them. When you are in a transit, you cannot join the people of the city. You will miss your flight. When you are in a transit, you cannot go to party. You will miss your flight. When you are in a transit, you can't go for a long shopping. You will miss your flight. Is somebody hearing me at all? There are people who are doing, they are enjoying themselves and they want you to join them. You are not going the same way. Somebody hear me at all. There are some people that will derail you and later come back to God. After they have swayed you into nonsense, then they will come to God. In 1 Kings chapter 13, there was a man, a young prophet that God sent. And God told him, do not eat. An old prophet came 
He was jealous. He said, how can God leave me and start speaking to this small boy? I said, no, God just told me oh, that you can eat. He said, come to my house and eat. And after he ate, he said, you have sinned against God. He said, by this, I hear God say that a lion will devour you. There are people who are busy derailing people. And they are quick to repent at night. And they make you to go sleep in the wrong place. So that the enemy can catch up with you. That is why transit is good. So you be separated. You know, one thing I enjoy about the transit of Joseph, God was cutting away familiarity. He said, you are too big to, to connect to this kind of people. You are too, he said, your destiny is too mighty to be in the midst of your brethren. He said, I need to carry you out of there. However means it is, I will take you from there so that you can get to your destiny. There are people caught up from your life and you are still crying. God did that for a purpose. There is a destiny you are going to and I see God carrying you there in the name of Jesus. There is a place you are entering to and the God of heaven, he will carry you there in the name of Jesus. There is a place God has prepared for you. And everyone that is not needed there, God will cut them off today. In the name of Jesus. It's a time to be separated. It's a time to be separated. It's not a time to mingle. Hallelujah. It is not a time to mingle. Bear the loneliness for a while. Hallelujah. We heard about the life of Jesus until 12 years. After 12 years, we never heard any word. Until when he was 30. And he did ministry three years. And he left. There is a time to be separated. There is a time to be separated. If you are separated from family now, don't cry. Utilize it properly. Consecrate yourself in this time. God knows there are some people around us that when they are there, you'll be too comfortable even to pray. You'll be too comfortable to be in the house of God. Either you, this weekend you are in Miami. The other weekend you are in... Uh, Las Vegas. Another weekend you are somewhere. Before we know, you have gone to Dubai. Before we know, you have gone to... Some people have only two weekends they can come to church. That two weekends, that's the one they plan their vacation. Because sweet as is around. God wants you to prioritize his presence. So by the time sweet as comes, say, there is something that has kept me. If I didn't have this God in me, you, maybe you would have come and somebody would have already remarried and returned your diary. So God said, stay alone this time. Let me, let me prepare you. So when that lover of yours comes, they will see you standing in his presence. And when they ask you, how did you do it? He said, there is a God in heaven. The Bible says, oh, Shana Mahanda, have you not heard? Have you not known that the everlasting God, the keeper of the earth, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither slumber, neither is he weary. He said, there is no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. He said, to them that have no mind, he increases says strength. I want to speak into your life. In this transit, God will empower you. God will empower you. God will make you the light of your family. In the name of Jesus. God, be separated. Be what? Separated. When you are in a transit, it's not time to mingle, child of God. Hallelujah. It's a time to be separated. Use that excess time. Did you get laid off? Listen, job can come now. I speak one word, God will give you job. But if God permits it, then I want you to use that time to pray. You have been so busy that you don't have to. We are seeing all things happening here. Somebody said they rejected them. They went for interview for document, and they said they can't give. I said, are you ready to serve God? He said, yes. Okay. I said, I changed that report. He said, no, my lawyer said, he said, when it gets to this stage, nothing can be done. I said, my God, we undo what the lawyer said. And the testimony came, where are they not in church? Because they were in their transit. They were, when they were in that place, that's when you seek God and build a relationship. When you have a genuine relationship, you can't just disappear. It's only fake people, 419 as they come to you and say, I love you, I love you. And tomorrow before you call, their phone is not passing. When you have genuine relationship, you keep to it. Even distance is not a barrier. Is somebody hearing me? Even distance is not a barrier. In this time that you are, it's a transit moment. Separate yourself. Consecrate yourself. Separate yourself. Consecrate yourself. In Exodus chapter 28, I think verse 2, God was speaking to Moses. He said, and you will make for Aaron and his children a holy garment. A holy garment. He said, and thou shalt make a holy garment for Aaron, thy brother, for glory 
and for beauty. Hallelujah. When you carry the garment of holiness, you're, you know, every one of us have a glory. The Bible said, one glory differs from the other. He said there is a glory of the star, and there is a glory of the sun. There is a glory of the moon. He said one star differs from another in glory. He said his glory will be risen in your life by reason of holiness. I see God lifting you. You become the light of your family. I see God raising you. You become the source of your destination. In the name of Jesus. Holiness exalts a nation. He said, but sin is a reproach to a people. Sin brings shame. Holiness brings glory. Brings beauty. Somebody told me one thing one day. A lady said, told me a story. It was, very, it was a very sad story. Say, she was driving with her husband in the car. Suddenly, the husband just turned and said, what is smelling like this? She said, it's the perfume that you bought for me. He said, no, 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 this cannot be perfume. This cannot be perfume. He said, you turn. They were going for a, an occasion, an event. He said, you turn, you turn, you turn. He said, if you delay, I will drop from this car. And that was the end of their marriage. When you are standing at the wrong place, when you stand where, listen, there is covering for everywhere you go. There is a place you are not covered to go. There are places you enter. The good things that were happening in your life stop happening from that moment. There are places you enter. It looks like your destiny has been scattered. There are some relationships some people, when they enter your life, that's when problem began. When God approves of a relationship, nothing can stop you. When God approves of your going somewhere, nothing can stop you. But when you go on your own, you are on your own. Are you hearing me, child of God? Be separated. Hallelujah. A transit period is a time to be apart. Hallelujah. It's a time to be on your own. Joseph said, God, look at Joseph in the pit. He said, no, but this pit, let me check it. He will give him some time to pray and to worship. And he prayed and he worshiped God. God said, no, let me take him to a house where he can have food to eat when he wants to break his fast. He went to the house, temptation started coming. God said, no, 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 this place is not good for you. Let me carry you to where anybody, everybody will be crying. And then so you can become a consolation. So you always draw from my presence and give to them. God took him to the prison. Is somebody hearing me at all? That place where you are is for a purpose. If you can only separate yourself, God will show up in that place. God will begin your lifting in that place. In the name of Jesus. How did David become great? Separated. At his age. You saw his resume? His transit was in the bush. Shepherd boy at 17. Who can do that? You have older sons. And you send the youngest one to go and stay in the bush. A bush where lion can come. A bear can come. You will send 17 year old. When you have elders brothers. But God intended it for a purpose. God intended it for a purpose. It was a necessary transit. And that's why he was there. He understood separation. Instead of him start do, doing one nonsense or the other, he was worshipping God in the bush. That's why he was writing the songs that he wrote in his life. He was always singing praises to the king of kings. He set himself apart, child of God, in that position where you are. The same strength it takes to cry is what it takes to pray and worship. What it takes to cry and wail. Hey, why am I here? Well, it's the time to say, ba, 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 ba. Esheo baba, Esheo baba, baba do baba. There is none like you, oh Lord, who is like unto thee, oh Lord. Can you be on your feet? I just feel like we should pray. Unto thee, oh Lord, who is like unto thee, oh Lord, amongst the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Always do we wonders hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, it's like on today. Oh, Lord, who is like on today?
praises always do we want that hallelujah hallelujah unto the lord be our glory the things he has done grant to the lord be the glory the things he has done My father, my father, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, as I begin in, the to pray in the name of Jesus, let your mercy and your favor carry me through this transit. Carry me through this transit. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. in Jesus mighty name we pray my father my father my father as I begin to pray the grace to live pure the grace to be set apart rest upon me by fire rest upon me by fire in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray like I said before there are some so many of us whose lives are full of tangles both the necessary and the unnecessary ones the greatest one of the greatest sponsors of delay is this transit we can be flying to California if I have a direct flight <laughs> and you are laying over in two stops, you will reach tomorrow. I'll get there today. As a matter of fact, there are flights from uh, New York to Lagos. Same day. But when you take transit, 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 it's a two days. Everybody prepares their mind. You know when you are going home, it's two days. Is that so? It's because you are not taking direct flights. Fly from New York to direct to Lagos. It's the same day. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I want to set somebody on a flight. And I want to put an end to these unnecessary stops. Hallelujah. In that scripture we read, in, in that, in that verse, from that verse 3 to verse 4, verse 5 is my concern. Can you put it up so I can round up with it? Verse 5, while we're standing, please. John chapter 4 and verse 5. Let me explain something to us. Is it on the screen? It said, then come he to the city of Samaria. Let me explain to us. Samaria means... Promised by God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So let's continue. Then cometh he to the city of Samaria. Promised by God. Which is called Sica. Sica means the end. Mm. So God was saying. Uh, he was going from one place to the other. Until he got to where God promised the end of transit. Mm. Amen. And that is what I want to. Pro I want to proclaim and declare and prophesy yes, over, your right, over your life. Over your life. Every unnecessary transit that has been in your life, today it comes to an end. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Every stop that is provoked by a man, that is provoked by a witch or a wizard. Today I decree they are lifted. Amen. I said they are lifted. Amen. I said they are lifted. Amen. Whatever transit God has not permitted for your life, today I wave them off your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree God will empower you Amen. to pass through the passing through he has determined Amen. for you. In the name of Jesus, Amen. and you will come up brighter and stronger. Amen. You will come up better and better. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Nahum chapter 1 verse 9, O Talagabaha, he said, what do you imagine against the Lord and his Ayamashanda? He said, O Katebahanda, it shall come to an end. Is that affliction will not rise up a second time? Sir. They stopped you in the past relationship. They are trying to stop this one. I make a declaration. You are unstoppable. Amen. They stop you in the last prophecy. A prophetic word was given for your life, but they stop it. I have come to prophesy today. They are frustrated. Amen. Any hand stretch over your life, they are cut off. Amen. I said they are cut off. Amen. I said they are cut off. Amen. I said they are cut off. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 43 from He said, Thus here the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He said, For your sake, I have sent to Babylon. He said, and I have brought down all their nobles and Chaldeans whose cry is in, in the ships. Verse 9. That's verse 14. I said, uh, 18 and 19. Please. Remember ye not the former things. Don't remember the good things, the blessing he gave you yesterday. Oh. After you give him thanks, put that in your account. Focus on the new one he's about to give you. He said, for behold, I do a new thing. Don't think about the old things. He said, a, can you go to verse 19? He said, behold, I will do a new thing. He said, now shall it spring up. Hallelujah. And you will know it in the name of Jesus. In, if you go to um, chapter 42 and verse 9, quickly. Isaiah 42 verse 9. Isaiah 42 and verse 9. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Media. Behold, the former things are come to pass. I promise you something and I've done it. He said, but there's still more I want to do. And I make a declaration that in this month, may you carry testimony on every side. Amen. In this month of August, let your testimony begin. Amen. You will testify the goodness of God Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree you are preserved. Amen. I decree you are protected. Amen. The hand of God rest upon your family. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Just lay that oil on your Father, with the oil on our hands, we ask that, Lord, you will reach your people. Every word they will speak, let it manifest their days in their life in the name of Jesus. Father, let your anointing, let there be a distribution of your oil upon every life now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lay your hand on your head and begin to declare what you want to see. What you want God to do for you? Ko titi le gabahanda, zobra kate bele kete. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is somebody, there's somebody, fear is overwhelming you. I don't know, maybe by reason of dreams or your surrounding. Fear, who's afraid? Who says, fear, come to you. Come now. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mighty move by Jehovah on Yenelebe. Sing you one more time. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mighty move by Jehovah on Yenelebe. Where's Akudo? Eka tu bragada zeke baladia. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mighty move by Jehovah. Onyenene me ma. There is nothing you 
cannot do, protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love, I have seen your mighty works, mighty move by Jehovah on your name, There is nothing you cannot do, protocol breaker. There is nothing you Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mighty move by Jehovah on your name. There is nothing you cannot do. Run to a break. Can you dance in his presence? There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mama, come. Take this. Start with her. Put it on her stomach. Speak the word. Do the same for her. Oh, la la bakanda. No, no, start from here. Oh, shanama nama. Eke de bohonzi kabahanda. Leko tiba kada bahande. Power! Leko soto toto 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 there is nothing you cannot do, protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mighty move by Jehovah on your name. Oh, there is nothing you cannot do, protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. I will sing a mighty word. Mighty move by Jehovah. Oh, yeah, the living. There is nothing you can do. Oh, yeah, the living. Oh, yeah, the living. There is nothing you can do. Oh, yeah, the living. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty words. Mighty move by Jehovah. Hallelujah. Make it low. I want to pray for some people. The Holy Spirit just ministered to me. He said, while you were preaching, some people said, you are preaching my life. Come, if you have seen too many hurdles, your life looks like too many bus stops, too many transits, come. I have tasted love. Come, come, come. Quick, 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 quick. I have seen your mighty Everyone whose life looks like this message was for you. Your life looks like so many transits. There is nothing you can't do. What's about there is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah overdue. I have tasted of your love. Oh, I have seen your mighty words. Mighty move by Jehovah. Oh, yeah, the name of God. I ask everyone that has come, they didn't come out for me, they came out for you. It is your word that has come and it has touched them at the point of their knees. Father, let there be a visitation. Let there be a touch upon every life here. Let there be a touch upon every life here. Everyone whose life has been Ayabashanda from one transit to the other. Father, today, every unnecessary transit, let it evaporate. Let it disappear. 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 Every human hand in your matter, it is broken by fire. Amen. Father, beginning today, what has not worked before, let it begin to work. As you leave your testimonies, begin. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let the strong man that has been a sponsor of your affliction, let them go down by fire. Let the strong woman who has been the sponsor of your affliction, let them go down by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree the God of heaven. Oh, Lord Abahanda, it will wipe your tears. Your time has come. I say your time has come. I say your time has come. I say your time has come. You will testify. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, my father. Put your hands together. Lord. Your testimony is coming. In Jesus' name, go back to your seat. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah, over to war. I have tasted of your love. I have seen, seen your mighty words, mighty move, and Jehovah, oh yeah, my name, my name, my name.
Aleluia. <risos>